First and foremost, we'd like to thank God for allowing us all to be up here today and give us the opportunity to come and represent you guys. We would like to also thank each and every last one of you out here. We're looking forward to y'all's support. Anything that you guys need, let us know. We're an open council. At any time you feel you need to talk to any one of us, if you, need, if you can't get in touch with one of them, get in touch with me. You talk to one of us, you're talking to all of us. And we're trying to represent you guys to the best of our ability, but we don't know what's going on if you don't talk to us. So we're asking for, our, for you guys' support and looking forward to representing y'all in the near future. Or should I say right now? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rube. <laughs> Councilman Gibble. My intention for seeking office was very, very clear from the start. Faith, values, and you, the citizens. What an honor for me to be able to sit here and serve you, the citizens of Lafayette Parish. And I certainly will not forget all the many, many individuals out there who helped me along in this journey. My, my first thanks, and I, I'm, it, it, I get emotional, is my wife of 48 years who endured this campaign for 18 months. She put up with me with the ups and the downs. And Vicki, I know you're not here. Hopefully you're watching me. I love you. And there were many, many more, you know, cousins and my brother Ken, and you know, I can go the whole, we only have a few minutes, but thanks. I, I really do appreciate all the, the warm friendships that were established, the, the way I was received. I, I really am appreciative and I love you all more though for it. And it just drives me to work that much harder for you. But I'll leave you with this. It is time that we grow as people as a community. Can we let go of the divisive things that plague us and replace it with hope, compassion, and kindness? Let's stop politicking our actions and work as one. We need to regain the confidence and trust of the people of this parish. Let us collectively work together the job ahead is daunting. It's massive. God bless all. Bless our, God bless our community. Merci beaucoup, mes amis de Cardia. Love you. Thank you, Gabo. <clears throat> well, first and foremost, uh, I'd like to thank the men upstairs. Uh, I'd like to thank my family. I don't know what it is, but it seems like every term I, I, I get reelected, I have a family member that comes down with cancer. You know, I uh, lost my father <clears throat> um, December of uh, 18, and uh, he was very ins insp inspired me to, to be the type of person I am. And uh, now I'm, I'm battling my mother's cancer. So mother has surgery tomorrow, and I want to pray for her and make sure she has a great surgery. She's fighting uh, bladder cancer and uh, has a big surgery on the on the books and be in a hospital for about a week and a half. And so uh, I've been through a lot of ups and downs. Uh, personally, like I said, my, my father, we battled cancer for eight years together. And now me and mom and my sister are right there next to her and we're doing our thing. It, uh, I'm hoping for a blessed 2020. I know I've been on the council for eight years and I know there's been a lot of controversial issues. Uh, but the one thing about me is I'm accessible. I will continue to be accessible. Uh, we can agree to disagree and that's okay. Um, but I want to be professional at all, all times and, and respect one another and, and treat people with the same amount of respect. And I look forward to serving uh, District 2. Uh, I'm going to get confused with District 1 votes. I will have to fix that, but, uh, <clears throat> only because it's been there for eight years. But um, I'm happy to serve the people of Scott, Dusan, Judy's area, and, and, uh, and unincorporated area District 2, and I appreciate their support. I look forward to working with this council. I can tell you the vibe is really good right now. And... Uh, I think we're going to have something special and I think we're going to get a lot of things done and I look forward to working with administration, look forward to working with my police chief, fire chief, public works, the whole nine yards. Uh, we have something special in Lafayette. We have some issues we have to face head on, but I think we ready to engage the public and we want the public to get involved in, and if you have solutions or any types of uh, ways that you think we can do a better job, then we, we need to 
all ears and we need to be uh, accessible. And so I'm just grateful for the opportunity. I'm grateful to be the chairman and I just want to lead us forward in 2020 and uh, be professional as possible and work with administration and, and be united with our city council and parish council and try to get things going. Uh, it's going to be challenging, but you know what? I, I believe we can, we can make some things happen and I look forward to it. So thank you for the opportunity. And uh, like I said, uh, prayers for mom tomorrow and appreciate all the support and everybody out there that has been by my side through all this. Thank you. <clears throat> Councilman Carlson. I appreciate the opportunity and the privilege to be able to serve uh, District 3 in the Parish of Lafayette. Um, it's a responsibility that I don't take lightly, and um, I will work to the best of my ability to serve everyone in my district. Um, you know, throughout the entire campaign, I told my kids that no matter what job I have, whether it's on the Parish Council or not, the best job that I have is being their dad. And uh, I worked hard to make sure that during the campaign that uh, even with everything going on, the craziness of a campaign, that uh, I would bring them with me to events, even when it probably wasn't appropriate to bring my kids to the event, or I would have them with me walking neighborhoods. And, um, uh, you know, when, when things were tough, it was great to see my five-year-old uh, tell me that he looked forward to seeing me on the council or um, things like that, because I wanted my campaign to be our family together. I didn't want it to be something that separated me from my family. I wanted it to be something that brought us together. And that's the kind of attitude and approach that I want to bring towards this council, which I agree with Councilman Nakian. I think uh, we have a great group here that I look forward to serving with all these gentlemen, but also how we plan on working with the city council. And I look forward to that, working with administration the same way. And uh, again, thank you to everyone who made uh, this possible. I know there are countless people who worked uh, tirelessly uh, to during the campaign and beyond, and I appreciate that. So thank you. Councilman Tabor. First off, I'd like to thank God for his love and his guidance uh, through this. this um, coming from a plumber, it's a lot different. I, I made a Facebook post that it's not a new chapter, it's a whole new book in my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, it definitely is. And I also want to thank my family and friends that helped me to get through the the campaign and uh, it's, if you haven't ever done it, you might want to try it. It's, it's a different, different walk for sure. Uh, and most of all, I want to thank the constituents that had the, the, the faith and to believe in me and, and, and elect me. And I uh, just want to let you know I'm going to do my best and try not to let you down. And I thank you. <clears throat> all right. So let's get to business. All right, chair announcements. Item 14, ordinance number P0003-2020, which is an intro ordinance, JDH uh, apprenticeship request by juvenile detention home administration to defer indefinitely as they reassess the position. No action will be taken. I would like to wish a happy birthday to Mr. Hollis Conway, director of community development, and to our new elect, Josh Guillory, Mayor President, which they will both celebrate on January the 8th. Happy birthday to Sherry LeBlanc, Parish Council Administrative Secretary. She will celebrate on January 14th. Happy birthday to all. I would like to remind all that the special joint meeting of the Lafayette Parish Council and the Lafayette City Council will follow this meeting. Moving on to council announcements. Not seeing any. At this time, we'd like to move over to the Executive Mayor President's report. Recognize Mayor President Gilroy. Oh, we got you. All right. Good afternoon. Uh, to the council, it is my distinct honor to have this privilege to serve with you, to serve the people that, that we are so blessed to, to serve. Um, again, my name is Josh Guillory, and it's, a, it's an honor to be in this situation, this position. Um, so we don't have too many items on the agenda today. Uh, I will defer to Ms. Lori Toops to go over budget. Hi. You'll see this item every month. I won't provide this extended explanation every month to take up your time, but I'll give you a little explanation now so you know where it comes from. A few years ago, there were lots of small towns in the state of Louisiana. Uh, I imagine there could have been some medium and large size ones. It certainly was not Lafayette, 
that was not keeping their financials up to date um, on a monthly basis. So a few years ago, the legislative auditor came in and made this a requirement that we present this to you monthly in a council meeting so it could be reflected in the minutes of the council meeting. Now, if you have time to look at this ahead of time, that's great. If you have questions for me, we have tens of thousands of accounts on the books. I might not know the details of the one account that you might want to ask a question about. So I certainly welcome an email from you if there's something in particular you want to ask about or after the council meeting if you review it and have a question or something that you need to ask me about. Feel free to email me. If I can't get to it right away, I'll certainly get to my staff. Um, I've had in the past a council member just say, hey, Lori, look at this account and be prepared to explain why it's short or something like that. So uh, certainly we monitor this monthly. We have monthly budget meetings with all the departments. So we do stay on top of this, but it is a requirement. And each month I'm not going to give you all this explanation. I'll usually just speak up and I'll usually say, this is the budget to actual comparison of all major funds that's reflected to be in the minutes of the council meeting. Okay. <coughs> Madam President, would you like to introduce your CAO before I move forward? Yes, I would, and thank you. I am proud to announce our, our new Chief Administrative Officer, Beth Guidry. All right. <laughs> would she like to make any comments? And thank you, Mr. Chair. You're welcome. Mike's on. That, that's the old, you don't have to worry about that. <laughs> that's I'm old like school. pressing the button because I want to press it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm very excited to serve on behalf of the Guillory administration. And I look forward to working with our new council members on both sides. So thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Okay. At this time, I need to ask for a motion in a second. Y'all can just say it. You don't have to. Uh... I still move. Okay, we got, we got a motion by Councilman Carlson, and I got a second by Councilman Gilbo. Any council discussion? Mr. Gilbo, or no? No. Okay, hit none. Okay, all right. Any public comment on this matter? Any public? What item are we on? I got you back. Item number six, right? Did you have, she didn't read it. That's what we thought, but you didn't ask Cindy to read it. I didn't. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> parish Resolution 1-2020, a resolution of the Lafayette Parish Council approving the appoint appointment of Gregory J. Logan as Lafayette City Parish Attorney and Director of the Legal Department. Okay. We've got a motion by Councilman Carlson and a second by Councilman Gilbo. I'm not seeing any council discussion, any public comment at this time? No, sir, we have no one signed in, but I just want to uh, make note that there is a companion ordinance on the city council for this item. Okay. All right. Please call the roll. District 3? Yes. You could hit your pad to vote. District 4? Yes. District 5? Yes. District 1? Yes. District 2? Oh. <laughs> Y'all flipped Did it again. again. <laughs> Man, <laughs> apologize. Call, call, call District One again. District One. Yes. District Two. Yes. The motion to adopt is approved. Yeah. Y'all don't please impeach me, all right? Just <laughs> <laughs> trying to get you. <laughs> all right. Now we will move on. Consider appointments by the Parish Council as a whole to boards and commissions. Cindy, can you please read? Appointment to the Parish of Lafayette Planning and Zoning Commission for a five-year term effective January 7th, 2020. Okay. At this time, there are uh, five to be appointed. The resumes received for consideration are from Bonnie Anderson, Walter Arsenault, Lonnie Bro, John H. Broussard, Charlie Buckles, Brent A. Frick, Imad Habib, Habib, Habib. Zach Hager, Lewis Harrington, Wesley Abair, Rachel Holland, Keith Kishbaugh, Kenneth R. Miller, John Oliver, Kelly Russo, Samuel D.J. Vietor, and Kendall Wiltz. At this time, I ask for nomination. Councilman Gilbo. Mr. Chairman, 
Uh, before I make a nomination, I just want to compliment each and every one of these 17 applicants. A couple of weeks ago, I don't know that we had any applicants. And having served for approximately eight years on the Planning and Zoning Commission, two years as chair, I recognize the importance of getting highly qualified individuals. Qualifications doesn't necessarily mean that you're a professional in the area, but it's time and commitment as well to do the work, to study what's coming before you, and make good decisions. Um, and again, I, I compliment, unfortunately, not all 17 will be appointed this evening. It's unfortunate, but there will be other opportunities. So I continue to uh, encourage you to make application for these different appointments as they do come up. They will be announced. And so at this time, I'd like to place the first uh, nomination for Charlie Buckles. Okay, we have a nomination for Charlie Buckles. Anybody else? Uh, I would like to uh, nominate Keith Kishbaugh. I think his experience as a developer would be uh, great on the Zoning Commission. Okay, we have a nomination for Charlie Buckles and a nomination for Keith Kishbaugh. Not seeing any at this other time. Any council discussion? Seeing none, any public comment? Okay, please call the vote. Buckles or Kishbaugh? District four. Buckles. District five. Buckles. District one. Buckles. District two. Buckles. District three. Kishbaugh. Charlie Buckles is appointed. Okay. Please read the next item. Appointment to the Parish of Lafayette Planning and Zoning Commission for a four-year term effective January 7th, 2020. Okay, at this time, we would like to ask for nominations on the floor, and just to be clear, Charlie Buckles has been appointed, so his name will be uh, off on this list. Councilman Tabor. I'd like to nominate Lonnie Bro. Okay, we have Lonnie Bro. Any other nominations? Mr. Chairman. Sure, you got the floor. I'd like to uh, nominate Walter Arsenal. Okay, we have Walter Arsenal and Lonnie Bro. Not seeing any other appointments. Uh, no other council discussion. Any public comment? Okay, you will be calling the vote for either Arsenal or Bro. District 5. Functional. District 1. Bro. District 2. Arsenal. District 3? Arsenal. District 4? Arsenal. Walter Arsenal is appointed. Okay, please read the next item, please. Appointment to the Parish of Lafayette Planning and Zoning Commission for a three year term effective January 7th, 2020. Okay. Ask for nominations. Councilman Carlson. I'd like to nominate Wesley Abair. Wesley Abair has been nominated. Okay, I'm not seeing any other nominations at this time. No other council discussion, any public comment? Yes, sir. Please call the vote. District one. Hey, <laughs> District two. Hey, District three. Hey, District four. Hey, District five. Hey, Wesley Abair is appointed. Okay, thank you, moving right along. Next one, please. Appointment to the Parish of Lafayette Planning and Zoning Commission for a two-year term effective January 7th, 2020. Okay, excellent for nominations at this time. Councilman A.B. Rubin. John H. Broussard. John H. Broussard has been nominated. Any other nomination? nominations at this time? Seeing none, closing nominations. Any council discussion? Seeing none, any public comment? Okay, please call the vote. District 2. Broussard. District 3. Broussard. District 4. Broussard. District 5. Broussard. District 1. Broussard. John H. Broussard is appointed. Okay. Next one, please. Appointment to the Parish of Lafayette Planning and Zoning Commission for a one-year term effective January 7th, 2020. Okay. This time, looking for nominations. Councilman Tabor, you have the floor. I'd like to nominate Bonnie Anderson. Okay. Bonnie Anderson has been nominated. Any other nominations? Nominations closed. Any council discussion? Seeing none, public comment? Please call the roll. District three. Anderson. District four. Anderson. District five. Anderson. District one. Anderson. 
District 2. Anderson. Bonnie G. Anderson is appointed. Okay, now we'll move right along to introductory ordinances. I need to remind everyone that item 14 has been pulled from the in global list and is deferred indefinitely. I need a motion and a second from the council to introduce the item ordinances items 12 through 13. Yes, sir. Mr. Chair, I move to um, introduce the uh, ordinances okay. so excluding 14. Okay. So just in the reference, you don't have to hit the mic every time. Like if you just tell I got a motion or second, then I don't have to keep going to the board. Just so keeping you straight. Just, just keeping you straight. I got you. I'm just trying to, so we don't have to keep hitting the button. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm getting yeah, you there. I like so these buttons. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. And I second. All right. So I got a motion on the floor, uh, Gilbo, and a second by uh, Carlson to consider in Globo. Not seeing any other council discussion. Any comment, uh, public comment? No public comment. I need to read the ordinances too. The, the intro ordinances. Okay. <laughs> Cindy, can you go ahead and read? Thank you. Parish Ordinance 1 2020, an ordinance of the Lafayette Parish Council, amending the fiscal year 1920 operating budget of the Lafayette City Parish Consolidated Government by transferring $77,500 from reserve operating to individual operating expense accounts with the budget, within the budget of the Lafayette Parish Council. Parish Ordinance 2 2020, an ordinance of the Lafayette Parish Council, amending the fiscal year 1920 capital budget of the Lafayette City Parish Consolidated Government by increasing the use of PY fund balance in the courthouse complex fund in the amount of $650,000 and appropriating within the adult correctional center for a new sewage, gr sewage grinder due to a lapse of appropriation per section 5-07 in the Lafayette City Parish Consolidated Government Home Rule Charter. Okay, thank you very much. And I, once again, I do apologize. Uh, you should have read that first. I kind of jumped the gun, but I do have a motion on the floor by Gilbo and a second by Carlson. And uh, do we have any public comment? You no, said, sir. Okay, go ahead and call the vote on introducing the global. And you can use your keypad. District 5? Yes. District 1? Yes. District 2? Yes. District 3? Yes. District 4? Yes. The motion to introduce is approved. Okay, meeting adjourned for the parish council. And we will resume here shortly with the joint parish and city. Yes, sir.